Good morning, Britain. Fresh new accusations from the Duchess of Sussex this morning that her father, Thomas Markle, lied to her about working with the tabloids. I just need you to tell me, and if you tell me the truth, we can help. And he wasn't able to do that. Mm. And that, for me, has, has really resonated, especially now as a mother. Hitting back, Thomas Markle says he did not collude with the British press. He joins us live for his first interview since Meghan and Harry's sensational revelations to Oprah. Pressure on the palace, no word from the royal family this morning as new revelations from Prince Harry claim the Queen cancelled a meeting with him after he announced he'd be stepping down. Please pass on to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex that he cannot come to Norfolk. The Queen is busy, she's busy all week. After she just invited you? Yes. Yeah. just invited me. The Queen's busy, she's busy all week. Do not come up here. Also this morning, thousands of jobs at risk as the biggest lender to Britain's steel industry goes into administration. We're live in Sheffield with the latest. And the weather has been pretty fine over the last few days, but it's all starting to break down as I speak. Low pressure moves in, wind and rain is on the way. All that and more coming up on Good Morning Britain. Tuesday, 9th of March, 2021. Live from Television Centre in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Charlotte Hawkins. Hello there, good morning. It is six o'clock. We're with you all the way through until nine with Piers and Susanna here from Half Past Six. First, our top story. A strange thing. If you, if you feel afraid the royal... of the coverage that you're getting, mm. I think, it, you know, it's understandable that she would feel like she wanted to know if a member of her family... But if you talk to most of the year. senior royals now, I can mm. guarantee you, because I know this for a fact, they would all say they have a much better relationship with the media than they've ever had in this country, actually. Uh, that the kids generally get left alone now, uh, that the paparazzi action around them is much better regulated. It's nowhere near as intense as it was in the Diana era where everyone knows it got out of hand. Mm. Uh, you know, they feel like they get a much fairer crack of the whip from the papers now. And yet this is the time... You see, what's lingering with Harry? He can't let it go, what happened to his mother, and I completely understand that. Yeah. I would probably feel the same way. But William went through exactly the same thing. And he's yeah. managed to come to terms with the media and he works with the media and he recognises the media is there actually, it performs two roles. One's to hold them to account because they're publicly funded, the royal family. But secondly, he also wants to promote the monarchy. You know, because if the media doesn't promote the monarchy, the monarchy slowly dies out. OK. Monarchies but have died out all over Europe. Alex, uh, Alex, yes. Well, hang on, hang on. I'm going to come Alex in a sec. Um, oh, OK, all right, I'll wait. Well... Would you mind waiting? Well, actually, I don't know, no. Carry on. To you, mate. You don't... I was just going to... Well, you you I was going to make the point, Alex, that something very different happened with Prince Harry was that he was in a relationship with a woman who was very different. And, and he felt, they felt, yeah. that the press then turned on them and was racist. They, they, they have had an overwhelming amount of negative press. Um, you know, I, I watched the programme yesterday and... Yes, they had some great press around the wedding, but what press is going to trash someone's special day? There was bad press around uh, the engagement, before the engagement, and everything that has followed since mm -hmm. has been incredibly damaging, quite clearly to Meghan's mental health and also to Harry. And, 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 and I hear Pierce say that, you know, William has gone through the, the, the same thing, but do you know what? siblings experience tragedy in their life and one will be absolutely fine and brush it off and the other will not be able to deal with it so strongly. And that's clearly what has happened with Prince Harry in this situation. He walked behind his mother's coffin at a tender, tender age in front of the globe. That is going to shape a young boy for the rest of his life. So I think that we need to all take a step back. Mm. And I understand that you don't like Meghan Markle. You've made it so clear a number of times on this programme, a number of times. And I understand that you've got a personal relationship with Meghan Markle or had one and she cut you off. She's entitled to cut you off if she wants to. Has she said anything about you since she cut you off? I don't think she has, but yet you continue to trash her. Okay. 
I'm done with this. No, no, no. Sorry. No. Oh, uh, Sorry. So, do you know what? That's pathetic. You can track him, maybe, not my no, own. No, no, no. See I'm, you later. I'm being. So Sorry. Can't this do this. This is absolutely diabolical behaviour. You see. He... I'm sorry, but Pierce spouts off on a regular basis, and we all have to sit there and listen. 6.30 to 7 o'clock yesterday was incredibly hard to watch. Incredibly hard to watch. This is, this is, this, you know, he, he has the ability to come in here and talk from a position where he, where he doesn't fully understand. OK. And I'm absolutely... I think we need to, I, 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 th I no. think we need to just all oh. take a break. We'll see you in a moment. Morning, here's your chance to win an amazing prize worth over £100,000. And it all starts with this.